Why, hello there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for the rest of September 2021. In this reading, we're going to look at some opportunities that you have for the rest of the month, some challenges you may be facing, and then also we're going to get some messages from your spirit guides and angels, all right? So thank you so much for being here, Capricorn. Uh, just one announcement before I begin this video or this reading is that there are a ton of people pretending to be me and other tarot readers on Instagram. So just watch out for scammers, all right? If any account reaches out to you asking you for a reading, like saying, do you want an ener energy cleansing? Do you want a reading? This is Austin. Just ignore those messages, guys. I'm never gonna reach out to you. I'm never gonna blatantly you know, ask you if you want a reading, okay? The only way to get an official re reading from me is to click the link in the description box below, and you'll also see all of my official social media accounts there, all right? So just be aware of that. I hate to see people get scammed, all right? So let's jump right into your reading, Capricorn. I've pre-shuffled the cards and laid them out already. Okay, so let's look at your opportunities for this month. All right, so for the rest of September, we have the King of Wands for you. We have the Seven of Wands as well. And then we also have the Six of Cups. So right off the bat, this is a very empowering energy for the Capricorns out there. King of Wands to me says take center stage. Also the seven of wands is like, you gotta fight for what you want is what's coming through. Okay, a lot of you guys, this is this may be some sort of a, I'm sensing that a lot of you guys are dealing with an ending in a relationship department that now it's almost like you have to fight for what you want. Some of you, a very few number of you may be dealing with a legal battle or a legal case. <clears throat> it's just coming through there. Okay, also the six of cups, you may have something to do with childhood trauma here, um, but I would say be gentle with yourself. So it's a, it's a weird balance Capricorn this month of like taking action and also being gentle with yourself. Some of you though, this King of Wands could represent some sort of figure in your life who you kind of have to defend yourself from a little bit. Okay, and that's just for a few of you. For most of you, I think you gotta em actually embody this wonderful King of Wands energy and really use that to, to fuel you to say like, what is worth fighting for? You know, what do I really want my life to look like, okay? I think how the rest of September goes for you Capricorn is gonna really like, determine what happens for the rest of your life. I know that sounds weird, but it just popped through. So you, can, you gotta be aware of that. Um, let's go ahead. I wanna clarify this seven of wands and a few more of these cards before we move on to your challenge. Why is the seven of wands popping up right off the bat in front of your reading, in the front of your reading? What is the seven of wands doing for you, Capricorn? Why is it here? Hmm. All right, so the Seven of Wands is clarified by the Burden card and also the Harmony card. So I feel for a lot of you, it is what I sensed a little bit. There, it's almost like there's someone in your life who you feel has taken your joy. Some of you I sense have gone through a breakup recently. And so it's almost like you're burdened by this energy. It's like you wanna expand, like anything you wanna do in this reality, you feel like it's being tainted by someone. Okay, there's a burden. For some of you, this could represent yourself of just not really believing in yourself. But for the vast majority of the Capricorns out there, I think there is someone who you had dealings with in the past that you feel like they're robbing you of your own harmony. And so the opportunity this month is to really say, I'm not gonna allow that to happen. All right, with the Seven of Wands, it's jumping out to me, it's saying, you really do have to create what you want. And you know, the Six of Cups is giving the gift of your own soul back to yourself. That sounds a little bit deep, and it is, but let's go into it further. Um, a lot of you guys have, you, your, your attention has been outward. Right, so the opportunity with this King of Wands as well is to become the center of your own life. There's a big secret that I like to give. You know, when we look at, and this isn't about making money or anything, but when we look at like Bill Gates or the most successful people in the world from a financial standpoint, the people around them have been said like, oh, it's Bill's world and we're just all living in it, right? So if you wanna create success in your life, because you guys do, I sense some sort of passionate energy coming through, 
you have to be a little bit biased and say, it's my world and everyone's living in it. The reason why you guys are upset right now is because you feel like you're in someone else's world and they're taking away your harmony because you're in their frame. For some of you guys out there, it really, it, it's about just honoring your own self enough. Okay, let's also clarify this six of cups right here. What is it, why is this showing up? Why is this in your reading for the rest of September for the Capricorns out there? Got one jumper already, hold on. Why is this showing up for the Capricorns out there? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So the Six of Cups is clarified by the Lover's card, the Sorrow card, and also the Abundance card. So it really is in alignment with what I'm saying here. There's some of you are like, you feel like you, you have to be kind to yourself because someone is being mean to you. This lover, I feel like there's someone in your life who's causing you a lot of suffering and sorrow. It's almost like someone just got up and left and you're like, you're trying to figure out like, how can I, how can I, the feeling that the other person gave to me, why do I have to rely on them to get that feeling? A lot of you guys, the, the, the opportunity is to give that feeling to yourself and not allow them to create sorrow in your life. I know it's easier said than done, but the good news is we have answers. The way to do it, the abundance card here, I feel like for a lot of you, it's moving into that passionate energy, you know, becoming, becoming the, your character and your own reality. I describe it like this. My life took a really drastic shift when I started to say, my world is bigger than other people's world. And that seems really weird, but let me explain it. For a long time, I, would, I have like 100 YouTube videos on here, and I would always be worried about what people thought of me when I made the videos. But the reason why I was worried about it is because I was thinking that other people's world are bigger than mine. Now, the reason I've created success in my life, I believe, recently, is because my world has become bigger than other people's world. Really, what, what it means is it's my world and everyone else is just living in it. So that's the energy that you need to embody that's an opportunity for you. And don't take it too far, but you guys know what I'm saying. All right, Capricorn, let's look at your challenges for the rest of the month. Okay, so we have the Three of Swords here, we have the Page of Swords, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Once again, there, there's this feeling of someone coming into your reality and like stealing your joy, and you're really not not happy about it. And it's like, you, you know you have to fight for this to like get this happiness back in your reality. The Three of Swords to the Page of Swords, it's like there's someone with information. I feel like maybe for a lot of you guys, they're this person, maybe this is the person who left you. It's almost like you spilled your heart out. You told this person secrets about you and they just walk, they took the secrets and they just like walked freaking away with it. And you're just sitting here like, excuse me, fuck, maybe I shouldn't have told, like, pardon my language, maybe I shouldn't have told that person all this stuff that I told them. And it has to do with a lover for a lot of you guys, all that lover energy. So that's the challenge. The challenge is not to let, you know, use this feeling as a springboard to create, to, to become the king of wands, to become the seven of wands. Because a lot of you guys aren't realizing that everything happens for a reason, all right? So that's why you gotta watch these videos because I'm always here to remind you, Everything happens for a reason. The reason you're going through this hardship is so that you can become your greatest version. Let's say everything is running smooth with this person, right? Guess what? You're, you're most likely just going to chill out and not doing anything. I'm getting this feeling of propelling you to becoming your greatest version. You also have this queen of pentacles right here. I feel like a lot of you guys, maybe there is someone in your reality for the challenge who can help you. I think someone in this reality is this queen of pentacles. Maybe you're not realizing who can help you. You know why you're not realizing it is because you're so focused on the negative relationships. You're icing out the positive ones. So start to focus on the positive. Also, this could represent you, okay? Just stepping into that king of wands energy, becoming more abundant. That will really help you for the, for the challenge, okay? I sense that it is challenging. Um, also, there could be something with money with the, with the person that broke your heart. Maybe they're a little bit more financially well off than you and you're letting that get in your head. But once again, it keeps coming back to this thing. Your world is the world that you're living in right now watching this video. It's not what happens in the future. It's not what happened to you in the past. It's you listening to me watching this video. This is your world. Don't let your thoughts about it corrupt it, okay? Because it's a beautiful experience when you just enter into neutrality, right? A lot of you guys, you're, the opportunity is to fight. Some of, the, some of the times you just have to 
not avoid people who broke your heart, just ignore them. And that's really gonna help you, okay? Let's go ahead and do some clarifications though for your challenge. Um, I wanna clarify this page of swords. I'm getting like a gossipy, someone who's, let's just see. What does spirit have to say about this page of swords showing up in your reality for Capricorn? Why is it challenging? Why, why is it here? Let's see. I can tell it's a burden, you know? I'm gonna do one more. Yeah, it's like lack of friendliness. It's almost like you feel like you created enemies overnight or something here. Hmm. Yeah, so it's, it's what I thought. So you have, to clarify the, the page of swords, you have the guilt card. There's someone here that you, it's almost like they, someone here knows something about you and you feel guilty for telling them. Um, also, for some of you, it's like maybe you know something about someone else that you, you feel guilty. Maybe it's like, it has to do with your, the ex-partner here. We have the laziness card as well to clarify the page of swords. So I feel like someone, it's like someone knows who you are deep down and that's really getting to you. Maybe they, maybe they called you lazy or something like that, right? Maybe they're like, I left you because you're just lazy. And you're like, what? Fuck. And that's why you're getting up now for this, for the opportunity to be like, I have to be the king of wands then. I have to be this seven of wands. But just understand, part of that could be running you might be running yourself from trauma energy. Sometimes that's okay though. You wanna see like the most successful people in the world, they're run by trauma. Let's just be honest with you. You guys think the most successful people in the world are meditating every day? Just look up this one guy, Dan Pena. Look at D-A-N-P-E-N-A. -E I watched some of his videos, I think he's hilarious. He's a very successful guy run by trauma. Uh, he's hilarious, but he's run by trauma. So. A lot of you guys, you're almost, you're almost put on this path where you, I'm sensing it's in alignment to use your trauma to propel you into action. Don't let this person's opinion hold you down or like box you in and don't believe them either, right? If you're a lazy person, you can, you can change that today, t t today, Junior. Okay. So just be aware of that. Then let's finally move on to the messages from your spirit guides for, um, the cancer. And I, I know you guys are, you guys are going through it. You're feeling it. All I can say is I'm sorry, but let's look at what your spirit guides are saying. What is the advice from your guides? The advice is we have the Knight of Swords here. We have the Six of Pentacles, and we also have the Hanged Man. Okay, so the main thing coming through with this Hanged Man is just sink into the realization that a shift has happened. A lot of you guys are sitting here and you're saying, you're feeling guilty about past actions. Like maybe if I did this one thing, uh, this didn't, this heartache didn't have to happen and I wouldn't have to be going on this big quest and I could just sit back, relax and do nothing. The hanged man is a card of drastic shift, radical shift in your perspective. And I would say this is in alignment with your destiny as well. Okay, so your spirit guides are saying, potentially uh, Capricorn, the reason why you met that person who broke your heart is because they're putting you in the exact position that you're in now because that's gonna propel you to become this king of wands, to become this queen of pentacles, all right? So also you have the knight of swords here to clarify or to for the message from your spirit guide. I think this is just them saying, yeah, like you really do have something to fight for here, Capricorn. Um, the knight of swords says, take action, be very bold, be very decisive. Okay, and don't worry about the outcome. Okay, a lot of you guys, are, maybe you're being trepidatious. I would say go for it. Also though, you have to watch out. This Knight of Swords could represent someone coming in. Also some information coming into your reality. Um, it could be this very person that you're dealing with, this Page of Swords in your challenge. They're almost gonna advance and become the Knight of Swords. So it's almost like as you, as you reclaim your power, Capricorn, you say, you know, I am the seven of wands, the seven of wands. I am this king of wands. You have to be aware that that's going to trigger that very person. Okay. So have no fear though. You, you know, in, if someone's throwing this energy at you, this knight of swords energy, I'm getting, maybe you have to throw it right back at them, but you're not throwing it at them. You're thanking them for all the lessons that they taught you. And you're saying, I have to go my own way now. Okay, and really just sink into the realization that I think this heartache, maybe you guys want this person to come back. I think it's just over. It's a relationship that's over. 
So just be aware of that, Capricorn. Let's also clarify this. Uh, let's clarify some of these cards from your spirit guides. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the hanged man right here. What is this about? Why is it showing up in your reading? I always like to say thank you to the interdimensional beings, spirit guides, for overseeing this act of divination and allowing it to unfold in a synchronistic way. Why is this hanged man here for Capricorn, though? For September? Why is it here? All right, the hanged man is clarified by the fighting card. So it is saying, it's like, it's almost like you have to realize, you do have to fight for what you want here, but it, you, you almost have to realize the position you're in. There's someone here who is a big burden to you. You wish it wasn't happening. The hanged man says, sink into it and just accept it. Surrender to it, Capricorn. Surrender, you're in, a, you're in a period of your life where you almost have this like mental parasite. I've been there, guys. After a bad breakup, you can't stop thinking about what the person did, what they said to you, what you said to them. The, the, the truth is though, time heals everything. But don't be afraid to go into this fighting energy. And usually I wouldn't give people the, the advice of like fight. Um, and it's not that you have to fight them. It's you're fighting your own demons. Okay, so you have to, there's this, there's this big feeling of accept that you're in a bad spot. Because sometimes when you admit that you're not where you want to be, that's what's going to get you to where you want to be. So just be aware of that, okay, Capricorn, for the rest of the month. Let's also clarify this uh, this Knight of Swords. What is that? Why is that coming through? Why is that coming through for the Capricorns out there for the rest of September 2021? I feel like we know what it is, but let's see. Spirit, please enlighten us. What am I not seeing about this? What is this Knight of Swords? We got one more. Knight of Swords clarification for Capricorn. Yeah, so Knight of Swords is clarified by the Compromise card. Um, a lot of you guys, you're not you're not pushing forward in your life. You're not embodying this King of Wands. Like I'm let it's like you're not doing it because you, you, you're, you're compromised. You you think that if you push forward, it's only going to lead to more drama, right? The, the Page of Swords is going to turn into the Knight of Swords, and they're going to talk more shit about me, and they're going to do all this stuff. The message from your spirit guide is saying you have to realize that no matter what you do, no matter what you do, this person is going to talk crap. You're compromised. So, do, so since you are compromised in this way, in this very real way, uh, don't compromise yourself further by not doing something based out of fear. You know, let love guide you, not fear. Okay, and sometimes you have to love yourself to say, I have to go on this journey or I have to do this thing because it's right for me and, and screw what they say. All right, um, finally, I do want to clarify this six of pentacles for you. I feel like you feel someone is, uh, someone's getting more than you, but the message from your spirit guides is saying that they have something to give to you. I feel like there's going to be, I feel like you guys have to be open to receiving not only synchronicity from your spirit guides, but in a very real, real way, a person coming in. Because once one door closes, the other one opens. A lot of you guys are not really closing the door right now. You have to close it for the new thing to come in. Let's let's clarify what this is about. I'm getting chills as I said that. Let's clarify what this Six of Pentacles is about from your spirit guides. Why are they putting that in your reading right now? Why is it here? Last one. Yeah, so the six, of <laughs> the six of Pentacles is clarified by the Thunderbolt card or the Tarot card. Okay, so they're saying, you know, your, your life had to blow up for something new to come in. You need to receive something new here, something that you haven't received. Maybe you don't feel worthy of receiving it yet. It had to blow up, right? You had to have this breakup. You had to have this bad thing for, for new, abundant, new joy to come in. Also, I think something's been out of balance. The Six of Pentacles can represent some sort of lack of balance. I think with this person that you were in a relationship with, it wasn't even balanced anyway. 
how great really was it? Sometimes the universe has to blow your stuff up just so you can participate in life fully without being in this state of limbo. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped you uh, Capricorn for the rest of September and I'll talk to you on your next reading. Peace.